Welcome in this video about the Crisp Marketplace. Crisp Marketplace allows you to build your own plugins. Those plugins can be private for your own use or can be published and made available to all the Crisp users. In this tutorial, I will explain how to get started in five minutes. As explained, on Crisp, you can build two kinds of plugins. Private plugins are only usable by your team or predefined users. Public plugins will be listed as Crisp integrations, making them available to all Crisp users. For instance, at Crisp, we use the Crisp Marketplace to build the Messenger, WhatsApp, and many other integrations, utilizing the exact same API that is available to all developers. The Marketplace allows you to use four different APIs on Crisp, REST API, Webhooks, RTM API, and Widgets API. REST API can be used to build your own use cases. For instance, managing conversations, updating contacts, reading the Crisp knowledge base, or updating assignments on the fly, as well as sending automated messages to users. You can also use webhooks or the Crisp RTM API WebSocket to listen to Crisp events, such as received or sent messages. You can, for instance, using webhooks, you can forward events and messages to your own analytics system or build your own chatbot with Crisp. You can also embed your own app widgets inside the Crisp app. Widgets are a manifest, then can integrate an iframe or crisp data. Crisp embedded apps can be displayed in the crisp customer sidebar. It allows users to perform quick actions and display useful information in the crisp app. You can, for instance, refund a user in a single click. To do it, you only need to create a JSON manifest that describes your user data as well as actions and buttons that can be clicked by the crisp users. For instance, performing a refund or opening your internal back office in an iframe. Finally, CRISP also offers SDKs for most programming languages such as PHP, Node.js, Ruby, Python, or Golang. To get started, you need to go on marketplace.crisp.chat and create a new account. This account won't be linked to your existing CRISP account. Once your account is ready, what is recommended is to link your CRISP website ID with your Marketplace account. To get your website ID, go on app.crisp.chat settings, then website settings. Pick your site in the list, finally click on setup instructions, and then copy, paste your CRISP website ID, then click on next. You will have to fill your CRISP account credentials. This way your development tokens will be able to access your main CRISP account. Now we can go to the main tab and create a new CRISP plugin. You will have to provide a name and a description. Now we have our dev credentials. You will be able to retrieve your dev credentials later by going to the tokens tab. Development tokens are rate limited. You will have 500 API calls per day. On the other hand, you will have access to all the API scopes by default. Finally, you dev tokens are only bound to your CRISP trusted site. It is a quick and efficient way to get started with the CRISP APIs. Once your plugin is ready, you can use CRISP production tokens. Those tokens have adjustable rate limits. Scopes will have to be requested. As a security measure, you will have to explain why those scopes are needed for your plugin. When using a production token, you will have to manually install your plugin on your CRISP workspace. You can directly use the Postman collection to play with the CRISP API. It will open the Postman app with pre-configured routes and tokens, so you can easily use the CRISP REST API. You can also use our SDKs such as the Node.js SDK to easily build with CRISP. Just add the CRISP API to your project. You can then copy paste on of our examples on GitHub and paste it on our project. Don't forget to edit the identifier and the key. All our SDKs provide many examples that can be copy pasted. For instance here, to send a message. If you want more information about all data types, just click on reference and you will be redirected to our REST API documentation. If your project needs webhooks, for instance, when using PHP, Python, or Ruby, you can go to Settings, 
and then provide your webhooks URL and select event to be subscribed. Thank you for building with the Crisp Marketplace and don't hesitate to reach us on crisp.chat for any questions.